So this is uh, where we are with our Abart Double Bubble project. Uh, we call this project Double Trouble. It's a, it's a pretty interesting build. Uh, this will be a fully capable car when we are done. Power, safety, suspension, brakes, steering. It's a bit of a resto mod like build, but with a specific intent. He's going to run it on La Carrera like vintage events. So it has to have a, a real capability to survive on, on questionable rally circuits. The core of the car is now a full cage front to rear. We have tied it into every aspect of the car. The cage is, is structural to the car now. It will provide uh, protection in the event of a, of a crash or an off. There's a cost to this, of course, and that is added weight. We use chrome molly tubing, so we were able to use less mass, but it still added weight, weight that we now need to deal with. We designed and built the suspension uh, system to carry the additional weight, and since we are doing that, we designed the suspension to handle the conditions the car is going to be experiencing. So increased travel, modern adjustable coilovers, and you know, a, much, a much stronger setup. With the increased mass, we needed to deal with the brakes as well. Original drum brakes and really not anywhere near the capability we need. So we have four pot wheelwood calipers at all four corners and then the biased masters at the pedals. The engine is, is just about done. Uh, a bit more work to do, but we're, we're almost there. It's a Fiat block, and an A112 one liter, and also a vintage PBS reverse cross flow overhead cam. Doing that requires that it all be engineered and everything from scratch, the cam grind, compression, uh, basic engine setup stuff, uh, to get uh, this engine to do what we want. We are in the closing stages of the fabrication, so you know everything coming together. All the systems have to have to come together at one moment. We will get it to a running driving car, you know, without the body skins on it. Now, that way we make sure that everything works and not have to deal with the body skins in place. After all that, it all comes completely apart and we paint.